This is the super critical phase shifter from Mechanism, and this is the end, 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 end game of Mechanism. It takes a lot of power, it needs plutonium and polonium, and we make it into antimatter pellets, so you can get your supermassive QIO drives, gravitational modulating units, teleportation units, and your anti-protonic nucleosynthesizer, which can do lots of interesting things. So, first up, you are going to need plutonium and polonium to make the SPS casing, which is very expensive. It's literally HDPE sheets, polonium, and plutonium. You can find tutorials for all of these on my channel. The polonium and plutonium are basically the fission reactor. If you want to see how to make polonium, it's going to be with water or any kind of fuel and polonium, which is, of course, made in a solar neutron activator with nuclear waste. And it's the same with um, plutonium, except you're using um, nuclear waste in a isotopic centrifuge to make plutonium. If you think I'm just whizzing through that and you're like, oh my god, I don't know how to make it, you probably need to go back and watch my fission reactor tutorial and my fission fuel tutorials, etc. There's a link in the description for all my mechanism tutorials. I've done everything from start to finish of mechanism, from emptying machines, etc., and how to make a configurator to how to obviously now make the super um, critical phase shifter. So to actually make it then, once you've made up some SPS casings, we're going to start off by going uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, so kind of a hole in the middle, and then we're going to put three on the outside of each side, like this. In the middle, you can then put an SPS port, which is made with four SPS casings. I know, it's a lot. Then, on the edges of this, we're going to put three casings. Oops. Like this. And then this uh, reactor glass centre, just do it again. So go one, two, three. So if you actually think about it, it's one, two, three, four, five rows of three. So one, two, three, four, five. And then you could just simply add the sides on. And that is going to basically look like this. Then we're going to fill in the gaps. So one here, one here and here of casing. So one in that corner, look, and then just basically in there to fill this up. I think this is the easiest way to explain this. It is a bit of a complex design. You're going to put three in the corners here as well. Just like this. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And the same at the top. So one there. And there, and then there will be one um, on top as well. Because you're going to put, same as the bottom, like under here, three on top, like that. And then you can basically fill in the top, just like you did the bottom, like that. And then you can see how we just fill in these corners. Now, the supercritical phase shifter is now done. However, I would advise to put ports in every middle one. So the bottom, the sides and the top oops like that and you can see um when it's complete because it'll have red dots like that and you can right click anywhere on it to see inside it which is a pretty simple interface you basically then need to give power to every single port oh and i'm forgetting something my, my apologies you need to also make let's get in here some supercharged coils which again needs polonium lasers ultimate control circuits and copper and you're going to put that on each of the ports like this. So these are supercharged coils. And then we're just going to oh, fix that back up. When you then power all of these, it will start a reaction as you can see here. You can take one off, but it will be a lot slower. Um, you can have you know, only one going or you can have every side going, depending on how many materials you've got. But basically, once you give it power... It's going to start up like this. It's going to start the progress here. All you need to do is add another import, so a port, sorry, and add in polonium. So pump in polonium to another port, and then with a configurator, shift right click another port for output, and that's going to output your antimatter. So we've got four input ports for the power with our coils, and then we have an input port for polonium and an export for the antimatter. And if we right click on it, you can see the polonium here is being turned into, well, it's being taken out of here. It's being turned into antimatter. And that is how you use the supercritical phase shifter to make antimatter. 
And it, it is really, it takes an insane amount of resources. It takes a long time to build, but it actually is quite simple to put together. So what then can we do with all of this antimatter? Well, we can put it into a crem- alchemical, sorry, chemical crystallizer to make antimatter pellets, which can be used in the items I showed you at the start of this video. Or we could put it into an anti-protonic nucleosynthesizer, which can make a variety of things, like skeleton skulls into wither skeleton skulls. It can make, you know, different coloured wools into quartz, never stars into hearts of the sea, wool into redstone, etc. And that is pretty much it. That is the complete end game of Mechanism. If you did enjoy this video, please also do consider checking out my Patreon in the description to really support the channel, and I would really appreciate it. Um, and you can also check out the Mechanism playlist in the description, as well as the full Minecraft Mods playlist on my channel.